Hey guys, S15274 again. Still looking at Overcome 2.1.1. Um, you know, I was looking at the ROM a second ago, and then I completely neglected. You know, they've got their own recovery, so I want to show that to you. Uh, so I'm gonna get back in the uh, the tablet. Also, I didn't show. You know, I've got the extended menu, which is pretty standard. So I'm gonna just go into recovery. Let it do its let it do its thing. And most people uh, that have the tab, you know, are familiar with Clockwork Recovery. Uh, it looks like he took Clockwork Recovery, added some tweaks to it, and I have to say, I actually, I really uh, am glad that I w went with his recovery. And I'll try and show this off a little bit. Hopefully, you can see it on my phone. But you know, we've got reboot menu, install menu. Wipe menu, an Android menu, storage menu, tweaks menu, power off, and go back. Now, the reason why I like the way this is laid out, let's say you're about to flash a new ROM, so you're going to go to wipe. Alright, well, he's got it laid out where everything's there. You know, factory reset, cache, Dalvik cache. You know, usually... You know, you'd have to go to advanced and then Dalvik. Well, even better, not only is it all right here beside each other, but let's say I wanted to wipe my cache. <laughs> Look, there's only just a yes and no. You don't have to go back and use your volume button like 10 times just to get to confirm that, yes, you actually meant to, to wipe. So, really, it, it makes sense. That's the way it should be. Um, same for, let me keep going back, you know, let's say even re you know, rebooting, reboot system, reboot recovery, reboot download, you know, it, it just, it's intuitive, I love how it's all together, you don't have to just keep pounding your volume button, uh, and there's this little tweaks menu, I was kind of curious to see what that was, I had never seen it before, Enable yes, no confirmation, disables, fix permission, show log. So, I mean, really, all that is, is like, did you want to have to get the prompt for yes, no? I mean, if you clicked wipe, you probably meant to wipe. I definitely would recommend leaving that on, though, especially since he's made it so easy that you can just, you know, one button down and confirm. Um... You, know, you would hate to turn that off and then mistakenly hit factory reset when you didn't mean to. So, uh, just really nice. Um, you know, it's nice to have those features there. So, I want to show that off. And I put it in the other video, but since it's so pretty, I'm going to also just reboot so you can see the. Uh, the boot animation for Overcome 2.1.1. Uh, it's a really beautiful boot up. I, I don't know who's responsible for it. I'm stumbling here a little bit because I was trying to figure out who to credit, but I don't remember who it was that did the boot animation, so apologies, but I just think that's really an attractive boot animation. It's more blue than what it looks like it's showing up on my phone. It looks like it's showing up kind of like a really greenish hue on my phone, but um, it matches the honeycomb, the honeycomb theme of Overcom's ROM. So, and there it is, you know, booting up, widgets loading, hide my dock bar, app drawer, you know, you can see I just booted up and already everything's running pretty good, so... All in all, extremely impressed with ROM, jumping back and forth really easily, so give it a try if you haven't.